I am Amber with The Playful Practice and welcome to another Take 5. Today we are doing a little sunset yoga out on my front patio before it gets too dark here. If you follow us on our Facebook page and on our blog, you'll notice for Make It Monday we made butterfly feeders. So today we're going to do Take 5 with a little bit of butterfly yoga. So, we're going to talk about the life cycle of a butterfly, and this is really fun if you have the Eric Carlisle book, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. It goes along with the story, or you can do the poses before or after the story, but it's a great way to incorporate a little movement into your story time. So, a caterpillar, or a butterfly, starts out in an egg. So we're going to curl up in an egg pose. She's sitting back on her heels, and she's going to drop her head gently to the floor with her arms in snug. And we're going to take this moment to take a couple of deep breaths. She should feel her back rise and fall as she fills up her lungs full of air, getting ready to come out of her egg. And when she's ready, she's going to crawl forward out of that egg, lying flat on her belly. Her feet are glued together just like a tail. She can lift that tail up. <laughs> She can lift up her head and look around for food. Lift those shoulders up a little higher, push up a little higher, look around for some food. Good. Or we can drop our hands all the way down at our sides. And we're going to lift our chin, our shoulders, and our chest up off the ground. We're also going to lift those feet up off the ground in the back. Nice squeeze through the back, all the way down the back of the legs. And go ahead and rest down. Come up one more time. Let's lift up. Chin, chest, shoulders off the ground. Feet up off the ground. Nice squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Look for some food and come back down. Good. Take a little rest. And now our larva or our caterpillar is ready to go into its chrysalis so it can change into a butterfly. So we are going to climb back into our little chrysalis. You can sit back on your heels and tuck back in like our egg. Nice and cozy in there, ready for all that magic to happen so we can change into a butterfly. Or if they want to get really tricky, your chrysalis can kind of hang from a tree. And you can lay onto your belly, push up onto your hands, with your head looking straight up at the sky, and then bend those feet back toward the head so she's hanging just like a chrysalis would from a leaf or a tree branch. Now come all the way back down. And she's ready to emerge from her chrysalis into a butterfly. So let's come into butterfly pose. Seated with our heels together. And when we first come out of that chrysalis, she's got to flap her wings dry to let them spread out and air out. So go ahead and gently bounce those legs. Keep the feet together. Bounce those knees out to the side. Sit up nice and tall. We're proud now that we've turned into a big, beautiful butterfly. Flap those wings. Good. Now she can stay here, and we can end the butterfly pose here. Or if your little ones want to get up and run around and flap their wings and fly, then that's a fun way to end it, too. Thanks for joining us on Take 5 today, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.